Hello and welcome to my watercolor how-to presentation. Since the age of 12 years old, watercolor has been one of my favorite mediums. Watercolor is a great art medium for beginners and experienced artists alike. Most of us have some experience with watercolor, whether we realize it or not. With origins spanning as far back as being used in early cave paintings, watercolors proved to be one of the earliest forms of expression. That being said, watercolor offer something for, ev for everyone, from children to experts. Today, I will give you a step-by-step -step presentation on watercolor, full of tips and tricks that I have learned and picked up in my seven years of using this art medium. And here, I have attached two of my most recent paintings. On the left, we have a painting that's about a year old, and on the right, a few months old. I added these here so you could see my art style, my usage of watercolor, and my experience. Let's talk about materials and some common misconceptions that you might have when you first approach watercolor. Not much is needed for watercolor besides the basics. As you can see here in the materials I have listed, all that is needed is watercolor paper, pencils, erasers, Color, watercolors, water, and brushes. Fancy supplies aren't always needed. Of course, however, the quality of the products does, of course, differ in terms of price. But watercolor and art in general is all about what works for you. As you can see here on the picture on the right, uh, these are the materials that are used for today's example. And that palette there in that picture I have had since about 6th, 7th grade, if I am correct. Which just goes to prove that it is what works for you and not always what's most expensive. Now that you have a grasp of materials and some, mis and some common misconceptions, of let's move on to the next step. Creating a color story. Color stories are an important part of visualizing your watercolor painting. This is because the creation of a color story helps minimize the possibility of mistakes during actually painting. Sticking with similar colors and one to two contrasting colors is a great way to create a color story. First, start off by painting small sections with, with each color you have chosen. I chose to do a dark to light gradient, but that's not necessary. Here I have chosen a range of cool toned colors with a contrasting color of a deep blue and a light green. It's important to test how these colors will layer and react to each other. We can test this by test painting on small painted sections we did earlier. As you can see here on the bottom, I have chosen the icy purple from the top left and the deep magenta from the top right and tested how the contrasting deep blue would work with each gradient of those two colors. The next step is crucial in conceptualizing your idea and putting it into action. For this demonstration, I have chosen to draw some of my favorite things to draw, flowers. This is your time to make mistakes and be messy. Once you have your found foundation of your painting roughly mapped out, you can then do what many not expect and erase it. Leaving only behind a light outline of your sketch, underneath that will be your guide for your painting to come. Now, it is time to put it all together to create your painting. Some important things to keep in mind are remembering your color story, remembering your sketch, and most importantly, to have fun. The beauty and wonder of watercolor is that it is not defined to a shape or mold. So keep in mind to explore the shapes and forms that you can create with watercolor. Explore the wide range of colors and tones that could be made with the colors that you have chosen. With these tips, tricks, and a step-by-step -step example, you are now on your way to creating and exploring your very own world through the eyes of watercolor. Watercolor proves that art is for everyone. No one is limited in their artistic abilities. You are now even closer to making your own works of art. And all it takes is a brush, paint, imagination, and a splash of water.